what's up back at it again for another unpackaging video we got here today the wolverine drop by dark sport Let's see what we got in here guys i forgot what i ordered already you know all of these videos i always shoot them way late and my clothes just sit here in the packages in my hamper clothes hamper whatever you guys want to call it and i don't open them until like two weeks after i buy them how much stuff we got one two three and four first up on the list let's go over bam the hoodie this is gonna be the rage pigment french terry hoodie in black the pigment french terry hoodie is basically all the hoodies that i get from dark sport the reason why i like these is because the fit is more baggy and there's a lot more room in the hood area so in case if i am going to put my hoodie over my my head i was gonna say over my face can i see duh then i can go ahead and have it hang over and not choke me because i have no neck <laughs> so from the last videos that i mentioned if you guys don't get what i'm saying go ahead and watch the previous video i mentioned all of that some of the hoodies i i don't care for they have a more shorter neck over here and then the hoodies as well is not as deep when i put it on it's like literally choking me up here and the hoodie stops like right here it looks like a little visor it looks really weird on me but let's get back to the hoodie this is from the wolverine drop yeah you once again guys this is what i like the respect us wolf design I think this is badass. Little intricate details again. What makes this this marble Wolverine drop? The other side we have here when it was dropped 2022, the name Dark Sport, then now and forever, never surrender is the drop. It's not called Wolverine, it's called the Never Surrender Drop. And I saw this too while they were advertising this. Things like this, guys. This is a pretty cool change up, and I like this. Hero Elite series does it have the number on here it does 572 out of 1000 all these things like the tags the tags guys the tags are different yeah 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 yeah. and of course they have this one the pigment french terry one thing i do want to mention to you guys though however for the pigment french terry hoodies i did notice from the previous ones that i have or the current ones that i have bad grammar the current ones that i have they run the dye that didn't make sense either. The dye runs when you wash it. I have to wash my French pigment terry, bleh, my pigment French terry hoodies literally like four, five times. It's still running the dye. So again, not to put down anything the dark sport makes or does, but for some reason, their hoodies now, the dye runs and it also, it did stain my washing machine. So just to let you guys know, if you guys do have it, um, you guys might have to wring it out um, and then go ahead and hang dry it, like all of the dark sport clothing, just so it keeps the integrity of the material. I never did have any problems with the black ones though. So hopefully this one holds up because these materials are, I'm um, sorry, these designs are really, really nice and I hate for it to get discolored or for something to go wrong with it and it doesn't last because they are also not cheap. Next one. Same thing guys, Rage. Pigment French Terry hoodie. Oh yeah, is that right? They don't make it in your size, honey. Maybe if they get the infant size, Daddy will buy it for you later. Yeah, yeah then we can work out, of course. You could be Daddy's training partner. Okay, I know that, honey. Yes, you can be Daddy's training partner. This is Zegode. I thought this was yellow. My wife had to tell me it's gold. But hey, gold means first place. So we win either way. And then I think this is black. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think this is a black logo design. Same thing, guys. It has all the Marvel on the front. Marvel, Wolverine. Got the Hero Elite right over there. It is number 388 out of 1000. I don't know if you guys can see it. I really like this color. This reminds me of the Canyon Brown color. Canyon Brown is badass, guys. That is my favorite color so far from what they came out with. Next on the list, the Rage Drop Muscle Tee. This is really cool. This is actually the first thing that sold out 
on the Dark Sport website when the Never Surrender drop launched. This is actually shorter than I thought it was, but here's the back. Again, guys, I like anything with the wolf. Anything with the wolf and the bloodthirsty, which they brought back the wolf's class, which will be on the next video. They brought back that classic and I definitely bought a lot of clothes. Anything with the wolf, guys. Anything with the wolf, I'm there. If they ever bring back the um the respect us logo with the NFGU, that'd be sick. Even the Ohana or Wolves Forever, I'm there. This is the things that I like. This is what I like. But again, as you guys can see, it's a muscle T or muscle tank. It's a drop muscle tank. So on the bottom as well, you see how it drops? It's basically like the shirt I'm wearing now. It's not just a straight cut like this. It's cut like this. So it has a nice drop at the bottom. It just gives a little more flair to the shirt, a little more flavor for when you wear it. I'm gonna definitely go ahead and put all these on for you guys. I'm gonna put on the uh, black shirt with a black hoodie. Definitely gonna go ahead and put on the gold hoodie with the gold rage drop muscle tee. It says yellow. Guys, is the hoodie gold or is it yellow? I'm not even sure what I bought anymore. I just like the design. Sometimes my wife gotta dress me to go to the gym. I don't really care anyway. I'm just gonna go sweat, stink, and come back and shower and change my clothes. This is gonna be the, the yellow drop muscle tee. Bam. Give me one sec and I'll go ahead and change. I forgot while I was going to put on the shirt. What number? 544, 544 out of 1000 for the black. And for the yellow, 763 out of 1,000. Now, let's go ahead and put this on. We have here the Rage Pigment French Terry hoodie. This is actually really, really nice. I dig this. And again, guys, I really do like these hoodies. This is pretty sick. This is the Wolverine Never Surrender Drop. I gotta mention guys, there's adequate room right over here. I really like this. The hoodie is deeper than the usual and there's a lot of room. My hoodies are filling out. I don't know if you guys can tell. This, so this is a large. I wear larges all around except my, uh, what is that? The Us Drop Collection, that Fearless Tee, my favorite one that I mentioned in my other video. That one that I was just previously wearing. That is actually an extra large, but it's form fitting. So. That's that. Everything else is gonna be. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Can Gary finish? Thank you. So everything I wear, guys, is always gonna be a large. So if you guys watched my previous videos, the hoodies are definitely a lot bigger. These are definitely fitting better. Like what I mentioned, I did start my off season. I didn't mention to anybody yet. I did start my off season last Friday. So. We're going ahead and we're gonna put on size slowly by slowly. So my clothes is really starting to fit out now. Fill out. Fill out now. So everything should be looking a lot better. I really like these guys. Let me go ahead and strip this off. Show you guys the drop muscle tee. Cool beans. Never did wear anything like this before. Um, never was my style. However, I am actually really digging this, guys. Uh, I don't know if it's because I just did back today, so I'm just joking. <laughs> Um, I did hit back today, but it's not because of that. But this um, drop muscle tee, actually, it, I think, yeah, it looks pretty good on me. This is gonna be the drop muscle tee, guys. Again, what makes this so badass is the design. You know, I never thought that the Wolverine would actually really pop out and look cool, but it actually does. It really does. I really do like you guys, honestly. Plus, this material, whatever cotton they use for this one, is definitely a lot more thinner, but it feels more comfortable, and it's definitely more stretchy. So if you guys are going to use this in the gym, sweet. Actually, I wish I bought more than one of these, because actually, I wanted to use one of these at the gym, but... Um, again, <laughs> the clothes aren't the cheapest. Uh, they're definitely a little bit more pricey, higher on end. So I only got one of each. But this is actually really, really nice. I really like this. This, If this ever comes back, I'm definitely going to buy some more for the drop. Anything drop is cool. Once again, guys, anything drop as well has this nice collar that I like. Not the um, rib collar that sits high on my neck. 
the bloodthirsty teas and the respectless teas they come out you guys will see me open some of that in the next video i did buy those even though if they are the rib collars because the design is badass so let's go ahead and put on the gold hoodie yellow shirt is this color i'm not gonna even keep on saying gold in case it is yellow here is this color guys mm, what do you guys think i definitely think that the black suits me a lot better however this is gonna be something new it looks like a mustard kind of a color i don't know let me know guys <laughs> One good thing I like about this though is that the wolf stands out because it's definitely a lot darker. Definitely a nicer t-shirt. Once again, it's another large, lots of room. You know, one thing I noticed too as well, um, since I started really training again and I've been putting on my dark sport clothing, all over here is starting to get tighter too now. However, I don't really want to go up in size just yet because the largest when they do get wet and I do sweat a lot, I notice there is a lot of pouch room. The midsection part is really, really baggy. So when I put it on my Respectus Pigment French Terry hoodies, I notice that when it does get sweat and it gets wet a lot, it hangs down and it looks like I'm wearing a dress. <laughs> you know, plus I wear leggings in the gym as well. So it looks like if I was wearing one of like my Bushido cold shorts, it probably would look like I'm not even wearing any pants. As funny as that may seem, that's how wet it gets and that's how heavy it is when it uh, definitely gets wet. So um, I definitely want to go ahead and point that out to you guys in case if you guys want to do size down, uh, go true to size. Again, they offer different um, variations of fitting, uh, oversized fits, form fitting, uh, true to size. But you also got to know which, I guess, uh, t-shirts, which hoodies fit a certain way. For example, like t-shirts, you do have like the classic tees. Those are gonna be more vertical and they are up and down. Not much room everywhere in the sleeves and also too in the body area. They're just gonna be, I wouldn't call those a form fitting, but they're definitely gonna be a little more tighter along all parts of the body. Um, definitely will be good for someone who is definitely skinnier, I would say. If you guys go with a premium tee, those would be really great if you definitely want more room in the midsection and a little bit in the arms, but it does have that rib collar like what I mentioned. You do got the oversized fit here as well, which is gonna be oversized all around. So if you guys really like that baggy look, then cool, go ahead and rock that. And then the form fitting, which is actually what I like. And then too bad they didn't have more drop tees with the busy designs. The drop tees with the Respect Us or the Wolf, uh, NFGU, um, anything that would actually be really cool. That would be something that I would definitely invest in. Let's go ahead and oh, take this off and I'll show you guys the drop muscle tee. Yeah, you see that in your shirt? Yeah, you can touch it. You wanna see daddy's new shirt? Oh, hello. It was you making all that noise down there. You being shy now? Yeah, say hello. Hi. <laughs> Good girl. Thank you. Thank you. Ready, guys. So here is the drop muscle tee in yellow. Once again, guys, I actually really, really dig these. Very, very light material. Has some good stretch to it as well, too. Something that we could definitely wear any season in Hawaii where it's hot here all year long. So. And then show you guys a drop on the last one for the black, but this is where it is for the armpit area. And then this is where it is on the side. You guys can go ahead and see. Like what I mentioned, there's the tail as the front as well too. It just doesn't stop just like this. There is a drop to it and then it comes back up. But again, it's in style. It's just something really, really nice. Something that a lot of people do rock in the gym nowadays. I noticed that even back in high school, this was actually a style. People used to cut up their shirts. I don't know if that was just a Hawaii thing or if everywhere in the mainland in the continental US, they used to do that too. But this is gonna be the drop muscle tee in yellow. Now we're gonna go ahead and rate everything. I'm gonna go ahead and rate the hoodies first. Let's go ahead and go with the black, the black pigment French terry hoodie. Kaya said she's gonna help me rate it. Shall we do the black hoodie first? Yeah. Okay, yes. Okay. 
the black hoodie, I was definitely gonna go ahead and rate that a 4.5 out of five. Once again, those are my favorite hoodies. Only thing that would make it a five is if they would add more design on it. Once again, I understand that but, the production value is gonna definitely be yeah, more expensive. Yeah, and, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, I know you agree with me. That's why you're here. But if, if there is definitely a lot more designs on there, it'll be a five out of five for me as well. And for the gold, we give it like a 1.5 out of five because uh, again, the design is cool. I really like it. Don't get me wrong, guys. Um, that's the reason why I bought the colors because it stands out and you know, I think it also looks great on me. The drop muscle tee for the black. Man, I'm gonna give that a 4.9 out of five. Really like that. It actually really, really looks good. Uh, will we give it a five? Definitely more designs as always. For this yellow one, I will give this uh, 4.5 out of five. Well, actually a 4.9 out of 5 because it's the exact same thing. I personally just don't really care for the color as much now that it's on me. I thought it would be something that would look a lot nicer, but it does stand out. So, look pretty cool in the gym. Anyway, guys, that's going to be the Wolverine Never Surrender drop. I'm going to go ahead and see you on the next video for, once again, the Wolves Classic Restock. And that is going to be a great video. Just to give you guys a heads up, in case if you guys are wondering or if you guys are excited to watch it i believe i have nine there might be nine pieces of clothing in there because once again they dropped a lot of stuff that i liked and before i started purchasing from dark sport they already sold out of those so i got it because those are my favorite designs that i like by dark sport yes i know honey good job good job How come you don't clap like that for daddy? All you do is just yell at me all day. Even when I give you mom mom and you're still clapping. And all you do is just get mad at me, yell at me, scold me. No, you stop. Oh no, you're gonna go again. Okay. But we're gonna go ahead and end this video guys. Once again, if you guys liked it, go ahead Hit that like button make sure you hit that notification bell on so you guys don't miss any more of my uploads either if it's going to be dark sport clothing unboxing unpackaging training videos or if you guys also just like the content want to see kaya go ahead and do so but anyway guys much love and aloha we'll see you guys on the next one